We'll be seeing patients now. I got the uh, gloves on and the uh, glasses. No, we're joined this morning. We had some fun this morning. Uh, UW student Jeffrey uh, Vitacor, uh, also known as the uh, Dancing Mad Scientist, is joining us. And his face may be, may be familiar to you because you had a piece on America's Got Talent. That's right. Where you did your dancing. Yeah, I um, combined my dancing with science, and I made it to Las Vegas, the top 100 on America's Got Talent. Um, had a lot of fun trying to share my passion for science with America. So um, that's what I did. Now this is a great way to get the kid kids involved in, in science and have some fun stuff, that it's just not a big grind, right? Absolutely. Um, what we're trying to do is show that science can be uh, fun and entertaining. Mm -hmm. We're making smoke, we're making things bubble, fizz, sometimes you know little explosions, and it kind of gets kids excited about yeah. science, and, and that's what we're trying to do. All right, let's do something today. Okay, well today we're going to use something called hydrogen peroxide. Okay. It's, oh, a yeah, common, uh, yeah, it's a common household product in, you find in your in your medicine cabinet, mm -hmm. and you might remember it's the stuff in the black bottle that yeah. bubbles and yeah, stings you when you put on your cut. skin. Yeah. yeah, so here's what's interesting. The reason that it bubbles is because hydrogen peroxide mm -hmm. breaks down to produce oxygen gas, the bubbles, and water. Okay. So today we're going to demonstrate that and have a little fun with it. All right. And of course you're going to help me out so okay. you have your gloves. So in these two bottles I have a little bit of hydrogen peroxide. Okay. This is ten times stronger than the stuff you can get in your house. Oh. And uh, here we have a little bit of something called a catalyst. It's just a black powder wrapped up in tissue paper. Ooh, black powder. Yeah, so, right. so you're going to help me demonstrate this. We're going to make a bomb here or something. Uh, not, not quite. <laughs> but um, I'm going to count to three, and then okay. we're just going to drop this in the top of the I'm bottle and take through. a quick step back. Okay. Have you ever done this before? No, I have not. All right, well, hopefully it'll be lots of fun. Okay. So, ready? One, two, three. Oh, there you go. Cool. Isn't that cool? That is neat. Outstanding. Yeah, so if you actually feel the bottle, it's actually very, very warm. Oh, it is warm. It's, geez, so it's here's, hot. here's it's how it works. Melt. Hydrogen peroxide slowly breaks down to mm -hmm. produce oxygen and water. And what a catalyst does, this black powder we dropped in, is it speeds up the chemical reaction. Mm -hmm. And this chemical reaction went so fast that it got really, really hot, and what you saw coming out was steam and water vapor. Sure. So that was interesting. But I have one more for us to do today. Okay. And I, I think it's also lots of fun. So we'll just kind of yeah, move this to the side. Here. So once again, I kind of have some hydrogen peroxide in here, and this time I've added some food coloring and mm -hmm. uh, some dish soap. All right? Food coloring and dish soap. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I use Dawn dish soap and just common. Can you use any household uh, uh, dish soap? Yep. Any any <laughs> soap will work. Any product will do. That's right. And here, once again, we have this our catalyst. catalyst. You got it. All right. And so this time, I'm going to count to three, and we're just going to pour it into here. But this time, take two steps back, because I don't want to get your nice clothes dirty. Oh, that's all right. Here All, right. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, this is cool. Look at that. Isn't that, that cool? That is awesome. Yeah, so we added the soap, like and that, that just kind of makes bubbles. That is, gosh almighty. Oh, that's hot, too. Yep, it's, uh, it's, it's warm. Oh, so there we go. We're um, learning about catalysts, how they speed up chemical reactions, mm -hmm. making science fun and interesting for people of all ages. When did you become interested in, in science? I have, I have always been interested in science. I like to say that I was born a mad scientist. I was catching bugs as a kid, mm -hmm. um, building robots in high school. I worked in a lab studying biofuels, alternative energy, and now I'm doing cancer research at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Oh, That's excellent. So if your kids are into bugs and stuff like that, encourage them. Right? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, okay. Showing them that it's, it's cool and fun. Thank you very much. For, you're going to have to bring it back and do some more stuff like that. Great. All right. Thanks for having Thank me. Thank you very much.